night in at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, Vice President Kamala Harris officially accepting the party's presidential nomination, the first woman of color to top the ticket. Thank you so much for choosing KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. I'm Andy Morgan. Vice President Harris laying out her vision for the mm -hmm. country if elected, while also laying into her opponent, former President Donald Trump. NBC's Bree Jackson has a recap of the final night from the DNC. History made with Kamala Harris officially accepting the Democratic Party's nomination for president. I accept your nomination to be president of the United States of America. A sea of white honoring women's suffrage and the first woman of color to lead a major party ticket. Harris sharing her personal story, including the powerful influence her mother had on her life. And I miss her every day, and especially right now. And I know she's looking down smiling. The self-proclaimed joyful warrior laying out her vision for the country if elected. From protecting women's rights. I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me. Capping off a week filled with stars, singer and passionate activist Pink, speakers highlighting the 59-year-old's professional career as a prosecutor and senator. Kamala Harris can't be bought and she can't be bossed around. Supporters taking direct aim at her rival, former President Trump. Our fallen veterans are not suckers. They are not losers, they are our heroes. Civil rights leaders highlighting her commitment to helping all people. We fought hard for LGBTQ loved ones to get out the closet. We won't go back. Harris says she's ready to lead the country toward a brighter future. The candidate who just recently stepped into the role, seeking the highest office in the land. In Chicago, Bree Jackson, NBC News.